Shut up and sit down. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I am the Cyber Reef Guru, and I want to make a quick video just talking about uh, 3D printing and sizes. So, uh, what you see in front of you is actually a model that I'm making right now uh, for a very sp specific purpose. Uh, I will zoom out actually and show you what I've got going on here and our different sizes, um, different objects. So let me turn on the side posts here. So what you see here is an actually a model of something that I'm doing, um, replacing something that I did last year. It's a long sort of story, but um, turn the uh, sketches off. Smell the bodies. Um, but you see a little tripod, actually a this bipod-like structure here with a little connector um, and the same thing bipod here so with a connector and then there's a little bar that goes across here what this does is there's actually a bar of LEDs that goes connects the two and it creates a wash on this uh, uh, window frame here so what I done what I've done is uh, last year I actually created out of wood. It's kind of haphazard, very uh, spur of the moment. So uh, I've created some uh, 3D printed parts. You can see here with some uh, quarter uh, inch rods, um, you know, six ish uh, millimeter rods that go down into this. So I, I've printed this part uh, already. And the rods are a little undersized, actually. They're about uh, 0.23 inches. Um, but the holes, which are sized at uh, 0.5, around 0.25 inches, uh, are too small. Which is interesting, um, because over here, we have this peg which goes into the rod and that is also sized at a quarter of an inch and it came out pretty much spot on. Uh, it's uh, 0.25 uh, or 0.249 uh, pretty much across the board on the parts that I printed. So not entirely sure what's going on. I will tell you when I use my CNC machine um, the inside diameter here you see here versus an outside diameter, which is what you see on the on the um, sorry here right here. Uh, did have a tendency to vary in size depending on the type of uh, milling you use, whether you use climb milling or conventional milling. And uh, I'm not going to go into the details about the difference between those two are right now. But the point is, uh, I do not believe there is equivalent, um, and in fact. There, there cannot be an, an equivalent from a 3D printing perspective because it's additive versus uh, subtractive in nature. Whereas with uh, climb milling, uh, you're really cutting into the wood, and conventional milling, you're cutting away from the wood. So uh, when you're cutting into the wood, it tends to pull towards the wood, and then uh, in conventional, you're kind of pushing away from the wood. So you get a slightly smaller hull versus uh, climb milling where you get a, a, a cut deeper into the woods to get a slightly larger uh, hole. So um, generally speaking, climb milling is not advised unless, uh, quote unquote, you know what you're doing. <laughs> um, what I found with climb milling on inside diameters like this is just, that's the way to go if you're making a tight tolerance part. So I'm reprinting the device. I think um, you can maybe hear the printer in the background here running. I'm reprinting with a slightly larger diameter here for the inside diameter. I've also added a chamfer right here. You can see the chamfer to maybe help the uh, dowel move in a little more. But what I find interesting is the dowel is um, not to spec. It's not a quarter of an inch. It's undersized um, and it still wouldn't fit in the hole. Which means the hole is significantly undersized. So I shaved about uh, two tenths of an inch. I was actually about uh, three millimeters. I'm sorry, 0.3 millimeters um, off. And um, we're gonna see what happens. So um, stay tuned. Thanks.